What's guys? Chuck Smith now at the plate. I'm back here with you today. Okay, so I'm back here with you today, obviously. And a breaking ball drops in. So right now, that was you guys see me now with the show 24. I'm here with Chuck Smith. I'm over the show 24. But that's probably the best pitch to hit he'll get in this AB. Let's go see more diamond. Let's go make that. Runner at second, two down. So these guys can obviously. We My team is still facing the season, and it's right about road. now that the luster of chasing shit, after your so big league dreams can start to fade. Beautiful. It's tough to deal with the endless travel and ceaseless oh, uncertainty. And you of guys life on can the road. already see. My team is already winning five nothing. Here in the top of the second. One and zero, oh, and the pitch, oh. and another ball. Grounds this one up the middle. Deep. And that one finds its way through. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and the runner scores. Let's go, folks. There's an RBI hit from my player, which is great. Boy, Runner at first, nobody out. It's like fastball. He threw fastball right down the middle. His level of baseball like, is such I'm a simply line, not going to ask. all accounts, he's, he's been like, able to roll with the many beautiful. challenges of the road and retain his focus. <laughs> That miss, and that is ball one. Smith goes six feet three inches, 190 pounds. So folks, I'm getting a little unconscious at the plate, hitting better than 350. This is related to like MLB and that one is for a strike. I saw this and a runner at first. I saw this on the news recently about um, it was actually this morning um about uh Luis Arise and how he got traded to the dog. San Diego Park. The runner hits second and heads for third. Runners at the corners now. Nobody like, out. I saw that on news this morning. That's back to back like, singles for these well, guys. About that one five ten minutes ago and stuff. All set for the start of this inning. Here's the third baseman. And that's gonna be interesting how he's gonna do and he's got good speed at a position you don't typically associate with that. It's usually more of a slugger who might fly a little bit. He's something of an outlier here. Fastball for a strike. No, he starts to at this spot can be a real asset, of course. Players like Jason Kendall and Sean Figgins made their teams more multidimensional because they can really scoot. See how um, the Padres are gonna do with um, Luis Arise because like. The Padres were already good enough, like, like on paper, like the roster was good enough, like Manny Machado, Xander Bogarts, and um, Hustle and Kim, and some other guys. Next pitch misses down and away. Honestly, if they absolutely had to, I don't think they'd hesitate to throw Anyways, him out I'm there gonna in a position on. that demands a little more range than this. His natural athletic ability can carry him a long way. That one out to right. Tori Alba should have this one. D. Hauls it in for the out. Now the third baseman, Chuck Smith. Enterprise, Gabby, what time? Let's go. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. So, folks, these guys can obviously see. We're here in the top of the eighth inning. With my team winning 10 to 2. And four. Out to four. short. Like, like, gathers and my team is obviously gonna win. That ends the inning and prevents things from getting out. If he has more games like this, a promotion will so that's the end of that game. Very good work. And like that was a blowout, obviously. Ten to three. Our final lineup first for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Well hit. So folks, you guys seem to jump into another game. I think this is the final game of this current series. And you guys are obviously gonna see me play more games. Like just one folks. And he takes a strike, just shaved the edge. This could be a big moment in this game. A hit swings it toward the offense, but failing to capitalize gives a lot of momentum back to the pitcher. That one not close. And that's outside. This could be the action pitch right here with runners on and a hitter's count. That one is absolutely pummeled. Bangs 
off the wall. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And that's Let's a double. Go. And that's an advantage count paying off There's the hitter. There's a RBI double about my the player result. already. Which is well, great. Second here and one away. You guys can obviously see. We're here in the top of the third inning. But my team's still and there's a strike. one nothing and one time. Fouled off. He was late. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of the third. Dances away from that one. Deals. Fly ball down the line. That will drop foul. Deals. And another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Hey, let her in one time. Careful. Deals away a little bit. Score. So a wild pitch. So that's the runner. These guys can obviously see. We're here in the That's three. That's a good read from the runner at second guys base. Guys, the angle towards the plate wild. makes it She's difficult to see how far now the guy has moved gotten up to away third. from the catcher. Wait, nice job to get a good look and take off to move up to third. And there's ball four. Deals three. One out and the base is empty. One time. Now that third base. Chuck Smith. Smith goes six feet three inches, only 18 years old. He's been unconscious at the plate, hitting better than 350 in his last 10 games. That one finds the zone. 0 and 2 now. This one's hammered to left center, well struck. Let's go. And they walk it off. There's That's a ground nice swing for the automatic double there. He gets to just amble into second base and wait for his teammate to drive him in. Like, like another double. Like one. Chuck Smith, the next to hit. You guys can all. And he's got really good here in the top of those skills seven. Really can't teach. My team's still winning. But now three. Not only does he have excellent speed, but it's the effort that catches your eye. That speed benefits him on the base pads and on defense. Teams always want players who can turn and burn out there. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. Strike. There's a strike. Wait for a good one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Whatever the reason, he's certainly a standout in terms of facing same-handed pitching. You don't see that too often. That one misses, and the count one and two. D. Lifted in the air to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out, and that'll do. So close. That's always nice to see a player at this level coming to the plate with a plan and delivering strong results. You guys can obviously see. I gotta go to the club. What I'm gonna do is I'll meet you guys when I um I'm gonna meet you guys when I am getting into the next game. Okay, so I'm back and stuff, and you guys can obviously see. I'm not here in the next game, but I am here um my players talking to the manager and bueno, folks. And you guys can obviously see, my player has gone called up to um Triple A, which is great. And why no, folks? Deal, great. So, folks, you guys obviously saw the cutscene. My player got caught up to AAA, and why no, folks? 
And, and folks, you guys obviously saw, like, from the beginning, um, from the start, like, I'm talking about, like, in the first couple of videos of gameplay on this series, you guys would have saw, I did not hit good, like, um, it, things did not get off to a good start at the start of the season, and, and, like, it took me a little time to get used to, it took me a little time to get warmed up, I'll say, and, why no, folks? So, folks, I'm showing you guys this animation, like all these cutscenes, because why not and stuff. And plus, my player got called up, obviously. So, folks, so right now is when you guys, um, you guys are obviously going to see me play more games, and I'm going to see you guys when I get into the next game. Like, I don't want to bore you guys out with these animations for long, or so. I'll meet you guys when I get into the next game. Okay, so I'm, I'm finally here in the next game, and you guys can obviously see Oh, and he's my got players good in speed at a position you don't speed. typically associate with that. It's usually more this of a is the Syracuse a little bit. He's something of an outlier here. Oh, and the slider speed. just misses. That kind of speed at this spot can be a real asset, of course. Players like Jason Kendall and Sean Figgins made their teams more multidimensional because they could really scoot. Up and in. Honestly, if they absolutely had to, I don't think they'd hesitate to throw him out there at a position that demands a little more range than this. His natural athletic ability can carry him a long way. That one fouled off. Got the batter swinging. Blew the express right by the bat for straight. So, you guys saw that bat. I missed a couple of like just boy, folks. Ball, that's too high. And folks, you guys can obviously see. Now that we're here in AAA, the PCI is smaller and the pitches are coming that's off faster. The now two and up. So, like that, that's the one thing I'm noticing is that like. Boy, no fools. And, like, I'm playing the, the I'm playing the I'm playing this on Hall of Fame. Different hey, and stuff like just boy, no fools. That one fouled off. Two and two now. And I'm gonna show you guys Submit. that right now. That was so just to show you guys I'm not faking anything. You guys can obviously see right here. Hitting difficulty, Hall of Fame. And boy, it's trailing no by fools. two. Here in the back end of the third inning. Hard ground ball, base hit. Yeah, nice and and folks, I'm not even... Keeps the inning alive. I, I always play on a Hall of Fame. That's an yeah, extra that's special hit for in him. This game. Like, I always play on a Hall of Fame. Level. Mainly because I want to challenge from that and build on it as he continues you got, If you guys have watched some of my show. videos, you guys will obviously know. I've been very vocal about playing on hard teams and why I like Still, like, just on at third, one away. Yeah. And folks, not, like, here's the thing. Like, if you play on easy difficulty, I guess that's fine. Like, if you're like new to a game, but like, if you have enough experience playing the game and, for a strike. and you feel comfortable, then I would recommend. Then I would, then that's when I would change the. To make him more a miss. You guys can obviously see. I'm chasing, which is not helping. And 
Runs the high heat past him for the strikeout. Go ahead, run it second. Count. Swing and a miss. Late on that one. Strike two. The next pitch misses. One and two the count. And a swing and a miss. So nice job controlling guys the damage this. out there. They this get... game has not been going good for my player. So like, two that's down. a third now strike. Chuck Smith. That's not good. And it was a slider right down the middle, too. So. One. Splits the middle, that's a strike. Just misses with that one. Grounder left side. So folks, that's most likely gonna be the there last plenty of time. Inning over. A couple of runs in the inning. You guys obviously saw. My I did not win that game. Like I, I was just And that's actually gonna be the last game you guys will see me play in today's video and stuff. Like you guys obviously saw me only play what? Three games or something. I think that was the third game because you guys obviously saw me play um the final two games in that Hartford mm -hmm. series and then this game right here. So yeah, that would be three and stuff and one folks. So folks, I'm gonna try and find the place where I can find my player's stats and how he did in double A, but I gotta try and find it. So folks, it's not giving me um double A stuff. Like I don't know where to look for that for my player like one folks. But anyways, right now is what I'm gonna end today's video off. Like I'm not gonna go any further with today's video like i'm simply not and i'll see you guys in the next video in peace out everybody